thought how great it would be if my parents or my grandparents had left behind the story of their lives. I know they went through so much and they talked about it very little and, and I would love to know those stories now. And I think the same may be true someday of your children, your grandchildren, um, other people who knew you and some who didn't know you perhaps. And that's why we're teaching a class, Andy and I, on how to write your memoirs or your autobiography. And this is for people who either want to have this as their legacy, just something that they will leave behind uh, to share with the people to come, or those who feel their life has been interesting enough that it might be of interest to a big group and therefore be worth publishing or finding a publisher for and uh, exposing it to the greater world. So whichever one of those fits you, we will be able to give you some advice. And by the way, one of the great things about this these days is even if you're not really into writing very much, there's so many other ways that you can record your story. You can do it on video using a smartphone, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, you can uh, be interviewed by somebody, and we will include a whole lot of interview questions that you can use uh, to get your memory started and, and get going in, into the flow of remembering your life. And of course, you don't have to include everything. Uh, the difference that I see between an autobiography and a memoir is that autobiography implies that you're going to cover your entire life, whereas with memoir, it's more often just incidents from your life or maybe one phase when you lived in a foreign country or when you first uh, got married or first uh, ran a company or whatever you did. Um, so you pick and choose. You don't have to include everything. And it can be any length you want, too. It doesn't have to be 300 pages of text. It can be a half-hour video or it can be a whole series of audio tapes. So we'll go through all of these options with you and you will find out what is probably going to be work best for you. It'll be a class for one day and then we're going to have a follow-up session uh, probably about uh, six weeks later, six to eight weeks later, which will also be on Zoom. And we do that because sometimes as people start putting into practice the things they've learned, they have questions that come up. And, you know, typically you take a class and then that's it. You have no more way to ask questions or interact with the people who led the class or your peers from the class. So we'll have a Zoom session for that. You can ask any questions you want. We'll be happy to give you advice uh, if you need it. And also just to hear about the exciting stories that people are recording and going to tell as a result of the class. So I hope we'll see you there. And I think it's going to be an exciting journey and a wonderful way to leave something behind that is probably more important and more valuable, the things you've learned, the things you've experienced, the stories of your life, more valuable than any material things you might leave behind. <laughs>